By now, you've all heard about Lewis Breland's lawsuit, and it is certainly filled with creative content with regard to the City of Huntsville's recruitment of Cabela. Having, having now read the lawsuit, which was filed after a meeting I had with Mr. Breland, I can no longer remain silent about the allegations. At the end of the day, this controversy is really about the route of a road, a shopping center, and a developer who didn't get what he wanted. Mr. Mr. Breland is developing his land off of Zert Road to build a shopping center. That's fine and well, and we wish him luck. He has been courting major retailers, apparently Cabela's was one of them, all fine too. Mr. Breland is also building a road from Zerk through the property to connect with Walter Anna Highway. The route agreed upon by Governor Robert Bentley, Secretary of Commerce Greg Canfield, Highway Director John Cooper, local elected officials, and the Metropolitan Planning Organization takes into account jobs and transportation. This is not the route Mr. Breland desires. We remain supportive of the approved route and we are grateful to Governor Bentley and his administration for taking time to lead on this project, making sure that we retain jobs and roads for Huntsville. The Metropolitan Planning Organization has expended more than $680,000 of taxpayers' dollars towards that effort. Mr. Breland, however, remains unhappy that the road plan agreed upon by local and state leadership, and he's called for a meeting, he called for a meeting with me on August 5th. We met in my office with City Administrator John Hamilton. In that meeting, Mr. Breland asked numerous times for Huntsville to change the road plan. Each time I explained our commitment to the approved plan that ensures the protection of local jobs. The governor and transportation leaders considered the needs of one of our larger employers, SES, which is located in a heavy industrial park along Mr. Breland's desired route. SES requires takeoff and landing pads for testing helicopters. Mr. Breland's route would jeopardize SES operations and the nearly 1,000 workers employed there. This was not in the best interest of the taxpayers of Huntsville or of Madison County. After explaining the merits of the approved road plan numerous times, and upon realizing that I would not do what he wanted, Mr. Breland responded with the following implied threats. His first comment was, this thing is going to get so dark and so ugly, and we don't need to go there, I'm telling you. His next comment in the other, in later in the conversation was, this is going to get so ugly, it's going to be unbelievable. Later in the conversation, he said, if y'all push us, this is going to go into a very dark place. Later, he said, if we have to go there, it's going to get very, very dark place. Later in the conversation, he said, this is going to be, it's going to go to some dark places, I'm telling you. We did take notes. Mr. Breland proceeded to make allegations of illegal conduct, which he would continue to expose if I continued my opposition to the road plan. Many of them the same allegations that were later named in the lawsuit. Immediately after our meeting, I called our city attorney to outline Mr. Breland's implied threats, attempted intimidation, and accusations. The following day, I called and reported the meeting to the Alabama Ethics Commission and subsequently to the Madison County District Attorney. It is my duty and responsibility as mayor to take seriously any allegation, no matter how vindictive it may seem. Breland followed up by hiring his henchman to take this to his dark place and file a lawsuit over losing Cabela's. I'm extremely proud of the effort that the city put forth in landing Cabela's in Huntsville. We were competing for the first store in Alabama, an honor that often goes to larger cities. Many retailers typically evaluate lots, lots of sites. And just because they look at your property doesn't mean that you land a contract. In fact, Cabela's looked at more than a dozen sites in Huntsville alone. We are honored Cabela's chose to locate in our city. In his lawsuit, Mr. Breland has a kitchen soup of accusations. I believe Mr. Breland's actions were way beyond the bounds of proper conduct. I leave the legality of Mr. Breland's actions in the hands of law enforcement. We do not, have not, and will not succumb to bullying. We value all people, whether you're worth $5 or $500 million in the city of Huntsville. We treat you with dignity, 
and respect whatever your station in life. Our administration will work to continue to provide for jobs, strong education, and a high quality of life. For our business partners, if you seek to operate with integrity, we are open for business. Thank you.